This is Beer Radio, the best show on the internet that you are currently watching or listening to. Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan. Um, I was going to do a show by myself. Just kidding. That's totally not true. I canceled on uh, this kid already once. And I was going to cancel on again, but I didn't. Because I was happy to actually see him. Hunter's here. Again. Hello. Hi. He's, uh, this is your fourth time. I wasn't sure when you when you said. Yeah, it was my. It's it's my fourth time here. I'm surprised I've let you on more than uh. Actually, this is your first time being alone. Yeah, without Chloe. But are you nervous? Um, no. I mean, I would be. I. You would be nervous. To be on my own show, I would. <laughs> I'd be terrified. Uh. So what we were, I was gonna do. I just went to a gala. Oh okay. And uh, I want to shit talk both people that were on the both both the people that i went to the gala with i wanted to shit talk they were both on the last show and i was expecting them not to be here and oh shit she's here how what could you shit talk you don't even remember i don't it. know i'm gonna i don't remember most of it so i don't I, remember most so of it. i just learned that a gala is like a uh what did you describe it as maybe marie described it as a uh a wedding minus the, the actual wedding like it's like yes. a recept- wedding reception I don't that's, know. A, that's a, big, a good way to describe it a big it, party basically and uh, so it's my first first gala, so to speak. It's more like gala. Uh, where's the bell? Uh, so stupid. I need to quit this show. Uh, and everyone was just trying to get busy at this gala. How I was, was it? I, you, you, I was trying to think of like everyone was trying to get busy, but the two spe- specific people I'm talking about are you and Libby. Who was I trying to get busy with? I don't know, but you, I think you ended up getting I busy. I did, but that person was not even at the gala, so it doesn't even fucking count. I wasn't even trying. Well, that's, well, I guess I guess I, I'd give you that. But that night was just about the hormones. That happened at Wise Guys. It just turns me on being at Wise Guys. <laughs> being at the worst bar ever. <laughs> I don't it, know how he didn't leave when he saw like how trashy it was, but whatever. Oh, God. Okay. Do you want to tell my Wise Guys story? And even though you weren't there. No, oh, this is the saddest shit I've ever heard. So Yay. this bitch only goes one place. Yeah. Wise Guys, which I actually like it. Like, usually I, I want to go to fun places, but I'm like, you know, I'll go. I'll try it. Like, I love food. I love drinking. I don't like fun people. If you're, if you're, you and Ray both know, I don't like to go to fun yeah. places. So he's, we're t- trying to think of somewhere to go. I'm like, hey, let's go to Wise Guys. Let's go day drink and, like, eat shit, you know? So he's like, uh, it's under construction. I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, I went there the other day and my Uber picked me up. I didn't know. They dropped me off. The car left and the fucking place was closed. <laughs> He's there like fucking wet shoes, wet snow. I had to walk to fucking Clancy's. So this is the second. No, that, that isn't true. I didn't actually have to walk. Why to, were you soaked? You thought I would have walked because I didn't plan right. I don't I had, understand what you do. I had left the house already. The that snow? I had, yes, I had left. I, I, we use like those, these kids nowadays where like the slip on shoes. Like you can what did you have vans on when you walked in today? They're like cloth they're, they're shoes. Yeah. yeah, they're like, and they're not good in they're not good in snow whatsoever. I don't know if yours are, mine aren't. Yeah. They're, they're like cloth shoes. Not really. And uh, so I walked in the snow. I, well, I just I don't know. I got my shoes fucking wet. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It was a disaster, Rose. It was a, it's a hard that's, time. It's really sad. It's so sad. Me thinking of you like turning but around just, locked door. <laughs> it, I know. I just I saw all like the uh, like the. Uh, you know those construction tools and much of this like oh. random men it's like this doesn't look right i'm sad <laughs> it was really sad so what's okay so i introduced rosie's here i didn't introduce you yet so i'm supposed to <laughs> <laughs> but i wasn't supposed to be here which on that note i'm supposed to t- okay so if you're going somewhere later so can i invite jen or is that a no um no <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not i don't know what to say i'm like i'll call you back because uh, we're actually going out to, we're going to Longhorn with his cousin, Chloe. We, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to Longhorn later. And you said you were going, you already had your own dinner planned. So look at me, yeah. I have parental dinner. <laughs> uh, Hunter's a young sl- strapping, like uh, a, a boy who just enjoys uh, family dinners. Like right. This, which I never did. So uh, yeah, me <laughs> me and you are going out to, uh, which I invited you. Just I didn't even tell Chloe that you're coming, but I'm just inviting you. What time is it at? I don't know. She's supposed to text me. I just need to know about the menu, what kind of drinks they have. Look special. it up. It doesn't tell you drink specials online. I don't know if they do have drink specials. I don't know. I'm just saying. This is a devastating conversation. Because in my head, I know every day of the week, every food and drink has special a, has at every a, restaurant. Yeah, you have it like, uh, you I know have like refrigerator magnets for I, each No, it's store. in my head. I already know where to go. I already know. If you say a place at a time, I'll tell you where to go. I don't. I well. I mean, any place I go to is I just get the same thing. I don't know. You really like that, Hunter? What do you drink? Just always beer. Well, I'm just saying, it, like food wise, drink wise, yeah. everything. It's always the same for me. I feel that. I usually get a pulled pork sandwich everywhere. At where? Just anywhere you uh, go. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty. If they have it. 
How is pulled pork? I don't. I have to. I have to, I have to relay to so the don't meat even really eater. Eat, I don't. I'm not huge on pork, but I'm, I do like pulled pork. It's really okay. Good. That's like. Uh, it's almost kind of like a uh, like a f- more tender pork or something, right? Yeah, sure. It's usually like a pet pork tenderloin. You just slow cook it and you make. I don't it know what any sauce. of those things are. Because you don't eat meat. <laughs> uh, I do go to Burger King often, quite quite often, and. Uh, what do you get from there? I get a veggie burger, <laughs> but it's. It's kind of I don't know. When How I was, is that? That sounds like the worst a veggie thing. Burger. It tastes terrifying. like candy from, from Burger King. I'm saying it tastes good. I don't know. You've never. What do you What do you eat at Burger King? I for, usually just get like a Whopper shit? or something. That's that's not a way. But I don't live. I don't get Burger King that often. But no, if I did, like, I would not get a snack. veggie burger. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I I don't know. It's well, it's fr- flame frame flame flame fr- broiled. Fr- yep. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. There it is. And uh, it tastes good. I don't know. I don't want to be controversial. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to start shit. But okay, so this is what it was. I uh, I went to Burger King, and I go there so often that it's kind of hard to tell. Like, usually, I know the people that are there all the time, but it's like back in the day when I was MySpace famous, when people would come up to me mm-hmm. like, "Oh my god, I know you" or something. Yeah. It's like you, you know, most people think, "Okay, is this person crazy?" So now I can't really tell. Like. I don't know if these people are crazy or they actually know who I am or is it like, and, and, not, and I just go through the, you know, most people go through the mind like, oh, they can't know me. Me, I'm like, how? How How do you know me? And the one guy at, Bur- at the Burger King is like, oh, man, I remember you last time. He said something like my sunglasses. And uh, it's like a younger black guy. And he's like, uh, he's like, oh, man, I remember about you, something about your sunglasses. And all oh, those are so cool. And you're like, trying, I'm like just trying to like get the fuck out of there. I'm like, oh, yeah, man, they're $15 from Target. And I was realizing I was getting hit on by the young strapping black man at Burger King who was trying to take my money. Nice. It was pretty nice. <laughs> pretty nice. Why did you not act on it? Because we were talking about sunglasses. I was kind of into, <laughs> into talking about sunglasses. And I realized after that, but what am I going to do? Hey, hey, guy behind the counter. <laughs> yeah. So Come on my podcast. Can I have my <laughs> burger for free? If That's I what I should have done. But you know, it's a, a, a you know these, these kids nowadays they they need their jobs, <laughs> not their dick sucked behind a dumpster at Burger King. Why? That sounds like awesome. I mean, that's what, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it is awesome. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Why I have this on the list because I already brought it up. Uh, well, because I wanted to do an iPhone six exclusive uh, show. Okay. And we're gonna pretend like Rose isn't here. We all got these iPhone sixes. I, I need one. Just, there's yeah, the camera. Hold mine up. There's yours. There's mine. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> We're done now. All right. So uh, this isn't this isn't the news. Let's be let's be timely for a second. Uh, I, I guess this happened a while ago. But Derek Jeter, I guess he had, gives out like. Uh, Why well, do you know anything gift, about Derek Jeter? What the fuck? <laughs> because this was on one of the shows I was doing. They, he guessed he get he gives out like gift baskets to the people he sleeps with. Like he he'll get them in limo, and in in the limo there's like a gift basket full of stuff. And uh, someone recently uh, put one of those gift baskets up for auction. And, uh, of course, they, they, she said she re- removed some key items. But it led me to think, like, what what would I have in my, like, sc- like what would be, a, I have it titled Scrooveneers. Like, what would be your souvenir, like, in your gift basket when when you were to leave someone? I would have, like, amazing. You want to go first? Go ahead. I would just have, like, amazing stuff because I would, what would be, you like, have? so sorry for this person that just <laughs> had sex with me. You have to have, like, a uh, uh, like a therapy gift basket. Yeah. <laughs> Like I, I don't know, dude. I would just have like a like, like a fucking like if I'm Derek Jeter, like a fucking like iPad or something yeah. amazing. I don't know, just just to apologize for their night because <laughs> it was undoubtedly awful. Yeah, not good. I mean, let's get real. A lot of, lot of so, sadness. Yeah, a lot of sadness happened. I don't know. All right, no, nothing fun. What uh, would be in yours? I think I would have. Okay, I think I would have like I think I would have like an iPhone or something. Uh, this is if I could afford it, but yeah. it's usually uh, it's, uh, mostly most likely I can. So I'd have an iPhone or something. Um, <coughs> Hunter's got a good good idea. Just like uh, I, I I don't know. I want like almost like a you know like when you go to a business they have like magnets and stuff. Just mm-hmm. a bunch of like magnets and stuff with my name on it. Just like try to like do some kind of like reverse psychology or something. It's kind of like ingrain it into the head like they hey, can't forget about it if you ever feel the same way you did this night really sad and lonely <laughs> give me a call 1-800-S eater no 68 no. no I couldn't get 69 I, I couldn't get 69 see I planned that it's called thinking ahead <laughs> <laughs> thinking ahead head bell it's a different different than the, all the other bells this was an abortion bell last week two weeks ago anyways Rose 
Right, would be you would be in your gift basket. I wouldn't have one because no one will have sex with me. Oh, okay. Mm, that's pretty good. Actually I would never make I would never make one. You don't get a gift. You already got a gift. That's the gift. Yeah. All right. I would never give away a gift basket. <laughs> Fuck that. I would want a gift basket. What would be in your dream gift basket? Uh just in general or no. a fuck basket? Yeah. Man, I don't know, maybe like a few Uber like promo codes or something, like get me home, like ASAP. They um, would think it would be to like Uber to them, but really you would just use it for the bar. I don't know what I would use. I don't know what I'd want. I can't think. What would you want in your in your dream gift basket? Oh goodness. <laughs> um It's the gift basket show. <laughs> um I don't know, probably some comic books or something. I would just want a basket filled with snacks. That's all. Or I yeah, want. food too. I, I want I, pure I, food. <laughs> Oreos, Cheetos, pr- Pringles, flaming hot Cheetos, cheese sauce. <laughs> Did you see the new uh, red velvet Oreos? Those look delicious. You I didn't see them. You didn't? No, my mom told me about them. <laughs> <laughs> then she goes, "I swear I haven't had an Oreo in about ten years." <laughs> so that's fucking weird. nuts. Your mom is this yet? Do you want to? Will you describe your mom to Hunter? <laughs> Where do I start? We're all family here, technically. Not really, but like kind of. She, like A little bit. Well, I will say she's by, a or, really, <laughs> really, really good person. She would do anything for you. She's clinically insane also. Her lifelines are cigarettes and beer. <laughs> good ones. She's uh, like paranoid, would you say? Like almost? What is she paranoid of, though? Everything in the entire <laughs> world, literally. And to me, when she talks sometimes, I'm like, and I love her so much, so I feel bad for this shit, but I'm like, Mom... You've been living in a fucking bomb shelter? Like, why do you not know anything about, like, the outside world? Like I said, like, the Oreo thing was just, like, puzzling to her. Like, she goes, they said the last Oreo was made 10 years ago, and it was called a golden Oreo. I've never heard of that. And they just keep recycling the same Oreos never over heard and of over that. again. I just don't understand. She's pretty good. Golden Oreos are pretty, pretty never great, though. I, I think I have tried them. They taste like um, formaldehyde a little bit, but good though. They taste good though, like but they them. give like a horrible aftertaste. Have you seen those ones? They're like watermelon. Yeah, I did see that. Isn't no, it like a combination? I had that. And it's it a was combination disgusting. thing, isn't it? It looks horrid. Isn't it like a chocolate watermelon or is it just watermelon? I don't. I think it was like the cookie was chocolate. I think it's just. Ge- oh. But and the, the, it's disgusting. It sounds yeah. what horrid. It, what is, okay, describe it as detailed as possible. Yours. I mean, it tasted like watermelon, but that, I don't want that how going it, into eating an how Oreo. How did it taste like watermelon? Like, it tasted like watermelon with chocolate. <laughs> That's horrible. I don't know, know what that tastes it like. D- not good. <laughs> Let me tell you. Not, not good. <laughs> not good. Uh, Oreos just give me, it's like the, uh, I don't know what's it, what it is, if it's like these the high fructose corn syrup or whatever in it. It just tastes gross to me. I don't know. We both eat like shit, though. Like me and Rose, at least. Yeah, we do. It's sad. And uh, Oreos yeah. are one of my favorite I think, snacks. I think we need to hit up the Oreo factory later. No, I want to go to the Cheeto factory. Remember when you were little and that was like our... Did I want to Did I want to go to a Cheeto factory? No, we were just both obsessed with Cheetos. I was <laughs> fat, though, and you were skinny, and... I don't know why I was always obsessed with like, and I guess I still am to this day, like fruit snacks. Oh. Fruit snacks, pretzels. Um, Dude, do you eat those uh, those Scooby-Doo fruit snacks? No, it's just the, just the character-shaped ones that yeah. you're talking about. That's my shit. I eat <laughs> those to this day. Uh, I like the, uh, I just got, what did I just get? I think I just got dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are, are cool. pretty good. But I want the healthy fruit snacks. I want like the Welch's or stuff. Fruit snacks are my jam. What else is my jam lately? I eat Pringles a lot. Eating horribly. I never uh, eat Pringles. What's so your good favorite though. kind of Pringles? Just, just like original. the food show. Really? Yeah, I just like the original Pringles. I guess that. I guess I get that. We all did the uh, little uh, duck bill platypus stupid thing. It's, it's kind of fun. It was sad though because they'd get soggy and it wasn't like the perfect chip. Ew. <laughs> Uh, Chloe, I, just, I tweeted about being here, and, and I said it's my first time without Chloe, and she said, "What the fuck?" She, I don't think she know, She, I told her last week. She definitely didn't listen. I said we were, we're going to have some bro time with Hunter this week, and she didn't pay attention because uh, she's too. Wor- she, I wasn't fucking up at the time. So she wasn't. She wasn't into right. it. Uh, speaking of people that I fuck up, so I've uh, we get a lot of solicitors in this neighborhood, and uh, they always look at me. And of course, they look at me, especially when I had longer hair. They're like. Hey, 
You're like, oh, you're not definitely not the homeowner, are you? And that that shit pisses me off because yeah. technically, I for legally, I am I am a partial homeowner. I am on on the list, and I'm just like, actually, yeah, I'm not going to explain to you this 40 minute conversation of legalese. But uh, and, and, and they're always like, oh, you're doing pretty good. I'm like, nope, not really. My life is pretty bad, and <laughs> it's just, yeah. I just got to realize not to have conversations with the guy that's trying to sell me a Comcast. That's I have. A, I'd be offended. We have Comcast. I don't know. <laughs> the fuck. There's. Some, I think. I think what I'm trying to say is your your co- co- Comcast representatives should be more well prepared. Yeah. Uh, I still want to. I just want to go. I want to. That gala. It was been on my mind all week though. Why? I don't know because it was it? so fun. I had general general general. general there was, I don't know why. I, like, oh, you had fun. I, I go that. out. I, I go out a lot, and uh, I which you is surprising. Were thinking about it, like talking shit about it. No, I don't. I guess I kind of wanted to. I don't know. But you had everyone fun. was horning it up a little bit. <laughs> Horn it up now. <laughs> I didn't. <sighs> you I did didn't. though. I mean, eventually. It doesn't count. I mean, you're just picking and choosing. You don't want to pick anyone there, which is a smart yeah, idea. That's an absolute no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not horn it up if it's someone you're already seeing. It's a horn it up. I mean, even my monogamy. I'm, even if I say if I ever got married, I'd be horn it up. <laughs> my, 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 monogamy, my, my, my monogamous partner. No, I could not horn up. I guess there's a new thing called like... Uh, I felt like I felt like someone, one of our cousins was kind of horn it up. She, she was. Lady was, was horn it up. You're the only two people I was actually talking about, and I don't know anyone else. But I didn't whore. I, you can't, because there wasn't even then. one person that I flirted with. Even <sighs> flirted with. I had zero interest. You weren't flirting with Bobby? I'm just trying to think of the most disgusting person. I would person. rather actually die, but um, <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I, uh, Bobby's a, is uh, one of her, uh, brothers. her brother's friends. Who is, Do you uh, know who he's been texting and talking to like nonstop? Libby. Christine. Who? She's 5'11". He's okay, five, so there's, imagine like a really like a... Uh, Kind of like the awkward scene girl at, at like at like a high school yeah. or whatever. Got she it. was she was trying to hit on my on her brother, my cousin, and uh, oh, you're talking about Katie? No, Christine's oh, beautiful. I don't know who that is. Then never mind. But, <laughs> no, she's my friend. She's beautiful, but she's super tall. She's like five eleven, and they current Bobby have been talking. Nonstop. Okay, I don't care about her. <laughs> but yesterday, out of nowhere, we were out for drinks, and he showed up. Like because those two have been like. So I definitely was not horned up. All those people fucking exchanged numbers. I was <laughs> I was by myself. Apparently, I don't know where I was. But this girl, first she starts in by me. I don't know why. I think maybe because I, I was charging her phone or it's something. It's really weird to me that big girls like skinny people. They do. Because I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is. But Not me. I think just big girls like anything. Anything. That they're like uh, they're like polar bears. They're just trying to find their Am I classified as that, though? Am I become that big? I mean, this these these girls are like, I don't know. You're, I don't know. I mean, you're like pretty fat. But like, <laughs> you're True not that fat. I'm pretty fat, but I don't like. No, you're not I, like you're not like a gen. Like, I don't you're not like disgusting. aim for like I don't like aim for like skinnies. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so she was sitting next to me, and I whenever someone sits next to me, I like who's like I can tell they're trying to like hit on me, whatever. I'm just like I I know not to show any interest <laughs> whatsoever because this is I have a lot of uh, friends that are like they're just all they get cha- they get chased down by fatties all day long, and they know <laughs> that if they show any interest in them that they'll they'll like they'll latch on. Such so you can't you can't show them any interest. This isn't me talking. I mean, it is, but I'm just. This is other people's advice they've given me, and you can't though because uh, they'll feed into it and they won't leave her alone. She, you literally she have she to ignore bad. them. It was a bad. And then she guess. started. Uh, I don't know if she was like trying to fix Buddy's tie or something. I don't know what she was doing. But was uh, dying Jen inside. of all things, socially awkward Jen was just like, uh, uh, "You got to go save Bud." I'm like, and of course I'm drunk, so I'm doing whatever she asks. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we had to save him. It was pretty fun. Have you ever had to be saved from a fatty hunter? <laughs> have I ever what? Have you ever had to be saved have from I, a fatty? I have not, no. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> You're pretty lucky. I, uh, that was my first experience. Being, uh, chased down. I'm trying to think of a good word. Fatty, fatty hunted. <laughs> so sorry, guys, listen to the show. Um... If you guys want, you can do this thing. Um, Auntie, do you have anything else to say? <laughs> about this subject? Yeah. Nah, I got nothing. I don't know. I feel bad talking about the fatties because I know most that's it's our only audience. So if you're a fatty, <laughs> if you're a fatty. The whole audience is fat? <laughs> yeah, it's all of us. Not, well, I mean, even, well, all of us are fat. On the internet. The internet's just filled with a big blob <laughs> of sadness. But if you're a fatty, if you weigh at least three bills, 
Uh, send me an email, beerradioshow at gmail.com. Leave me a voicemail. Uh, leave, you can leave it for Hunter, too, at 586-574-6165. Yeah. Uh, hit on Hunter, hit on me, hit on Rose if you're a dyke, uh, <laughs> dyke fatty. And, uh, hey, I don't prefer fat. What do you like to be? Okay, so or a guy. <laughs> what is it? Does it have to be lesbian? Yeah, why would only a girl hit on me? Again, Rose, our only audience members are lesbians, <laughs> fatties, and one-eyed strippers. The work at Bisco's, allegedly. Allegedly. The only people that call it, at least. Uh, find us everywhere. Where do, where do people find us at? Everywhere. At the radio. I'm just going to... Uh, everywhere. Just, just move your mouth. At the radio show. <laughs> turn you into... Fu- I don't know what to do. I was trying to turn you into a puppet. I was trying to do a bit. I was trying to do a bit. Yeah. How'd, uh, that, how'd that work? Oh, well, how do you think it worked? Not well. <laughs> Not well at all. Uh, find me at Bad Beef everywhere but Twitter. <laughs> when at Bad underscore Beef, you can find Hunter at Hunter Manders. Spell it for the fine. It's like is that is it like uh, Eminem, Marshall Mather? Ma- it's Mathers. As I I mentioned this the first show. I'm how about I just it. spell it? Yeah. H u n t e r m a n d e r s. That's a pretty good name, and uh. This girl on Miss my my main bitch. She's been on a few other episodes. She's in the anonymous cousin. You usually see the back of her head, but she's uh, she's here, off in the abyss. You fucking took pictures of me in my pajamas last time. Remember? You told me I can. I'm pretty sure I posted them too. That wasn't mad. <laughs> I wasn't mad. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it too. Um, you know what, guys? There's a lot of things you could do. Some of them are watching the show. Some of them aren't. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what you should do with your time. Hunter, I'm glad we got you on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. And, uh, you know, things can't be, you know, things can't be perfect. Nope. You know, sometimes, you know, all the good guests fail and you're just stuck with Yeah, them. and you're just stuck with me. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll, uh, we'll see you next week. This is Beer Radio, the best show on the internet that you are currently watching or listening to.